Hello friend, today I have a two transistor. One is a Toyota Camry injector driver transistor and another one for the Lexus injector driver transistor. This for Toyota Camry and this one C5292. This one for Toyota Lexus no. injector driver transistor. In this video I will show you how to test uh, this transistor. This is NPN transistor. Always uh, injector driver transistor is NPN transistor. And I will show you the diagram how this transistor is working and how you can test this transistor. This, this one the D2162 this for Toyota Camry. This two data sheet is same. C5292 and uh, D2162. This uh, both transistor work same. One is Toyota Camry and one is uh, Lexus. Any Lexus to 2006-2007 model. Both is NPN transistor. This is three leg. Number one is base. This is number one. This is base. Pin number two is collector, and this one is emitter. Collector on the injector, based on the transistor. This is NPN transistor. And emitter is always be negative. This is collector uh, base. Base uh, when you apply be positive in the base, the the injector will be on. This is collector. This will be on. For example, this is the injector. When you apply B positive in the base, this injector will be work. The collector send a B negative to the injector when the transistor is on. This is emitter. This is always B ground. Very simple diagram, you can test very easily in the multimeter. I will also show you how to test uh, both transistor. This is the base, same data sheet. For this two transistor, <coughs> this is base. When MCU chip on the base, the B negative from emitter to collector will be drained to on the injector. This is multimeter. How to test uh, this transistor, NPN transistor? Put the multimeter in diode mode. Every transistor, if you want to test, you put the multimeter in diode mode. This is NPN transistor. This is NPN transistor. The, therefore the base is positive 
we put the positive lead in the base this is base we put the positive lead in the base then collector if we have any continuity for example 400 to 600 ohms this is 400 ohms to 600 ohms this is a good transistor step one is good this is a good transistor this is base apply this is positive this is the negative lead to uh, collector if 400 to 600 ohms it will be good transistor and also put in the uh, emitter also same reading if we put the negative in the base we must we have no reading if any reading this transistor will be not good You see, I apply the, this is the B, uh, base, and this is collector. You see, we have 509 ohms. It is good. Now we check the emitter. Good reading. 400 to 600 ohms, it is good. Now we test the another transistor. You see, now I put the negative lead to the base for testing short. You see, no short. No short, it is good. See, no short. NPN transistor. This is NPN transistor. We put the positive this is another transistor into the base and this is the collector good reading now it is the base and uh, emitter 600 this is not a good transistor you can test this way one transistor is bad and one is good you see 600 ohms that's not a good uh, transistor you see emitter uh, collector is good and but the emitter is short the emitter side is short this is good and this is short this transistor is not good Thank you for watching.